Kareen. The room was settled. The drapes had been pulled back. The air had a stagnant and yet sweet scent in it. Must have been because of the large open windows allowing the fresh flowering scents of gardenias, lavender, and roses to enter the room. Oh, dearest Kareen. She hears faintly in her fragileness. The sun has risen east of her window, displaying the grandeur of the gardens as she awakens. She now sits on her chaise chair, allowing the birds to play an opus of songs long ago. She remembers a time the halls of her large estate were filled with guests with powdered wigs, ruffles, fans, busts, and gowns to last any old lady's memories. She gently brushes her long and tattered hair and no longer holds the luster of her youth. She glances over to see her garment she tends to wear today, dreading the drabness and the servant who will dress her. She stands slowly walking towards the garment laid out with furniture to safeguard her steps. The lady in waiting calls out to help guide her to the screen to dress her. She sees her fragile hands, paper thin skin, and spots, and recall her once diamond rings that no longer in her possession. She recalls her husband showering her with such glamorous items. She glances at the window and then at the portraiture of her prince, and tears fell. She was almost certain that when they fell into her hand, they turned into small diamonds as they made their way to the ground. How I miss you, my dearest. She is now dressed. Leave me, she says to the young girl. She walks slowly towards the window, glances outside and sees the gardens, and tears continue to fall. Oh, how broken, lost, and saddened that no one understands her despair. She rests her head gently on the windowsill. A bird lands singing, almost unafraid as she is too. As she closes her eyes one last time, Oh, dearest Corrine.